Today in this CoinOps Legends 2 Bitwars tutorial, I will teach you how to add PlayStation 3 games. So without further ado, let's begin. Step 1 is to acquire your PS3 ROM. As it stands, I cannot legally share ROMs or tell you where to get them. However if you look hard enough, I'm sure you can find some. Once you have found a ROM, you will want to right click the ISO file and select open with Windows Explorer. Inside you will see these folders and a file named PS3 Disk. In your Bitwars folders, navigate to the location on screen like I have. This is where the PS3 games will be stored. With both folders open, right click on the PS3 disk file and select edit with notepad. Scroll along to find the game's code name. Copy said code, then in the PS3 folder, create a new folder and paste the code as the name, deleting the dash in between like so. I have already done the next step, however, copy the contents of the PS3 game folder and paste them in your newly created folder. For a more detailed explanation of this next step, please watch my other tutorials. Inside the collections folder, navigate to the PlayStation 3 folder and then the medium artwork folder as I am doing here. You will see some folders listed. In each of the respective folders, i.e. logo, poster and video, you will need to find images online or make your own to portray the game once inside CoinOps. You will also need to acquire some gameplay footage or a trailer for the game in an MP4 format. Drop each of these in the designated folders, then rename them so they match the PS3 code we found earlier. I have already done this. Next, you want to go back one folder and you will see two files named include and include examples with art. Open them with notepad and then add the PS3 game code. Save and close them. Once done, let's head back to the RPCS3 folder inside emulators and head down to the batch files below. Copy one and paste it. Right click it, and select edit. Inside, there is a script that basically put, informs CoinOps to open a specific game file using the PS3 emulator. Simply replace the existing code with your code then save and close the file. Right click and rename the batch file. Paste the code so the batch file matches everything else we named before. This is more or less everything. Let's open the RPCS3 emulator and see if our game is in there. This is the emulator that is launched once selecting a PS3 game in CoinOps. Here you can customize settings how you see fit. I recommend reading up on the RPCS3 website to learn how to use and customize the emulator before playing around with it. This version of RPCS3 is a little outdated now, although, you can download updated versions from their website and replace the emulator used for CoinOps. However, be warned this could break things if you don't know what you are doing, so please make backups before testing. If you would like a tutorial on how to replace and update emulator versions in CoinOps, 
leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. Okay, let's launch CoinOps. And there you have it, our game is there. On opening, you may see that the game launches in window mode. To resolve this, you can either double click the window to go in full screen, or better yet, set your game to always launch in full screen mode. I'll show you how. Open our PCS3 up again, then right click on the game, select Change Custom Configuration, then under the Emulator tab, enable the button that says Start Games in Full Screen Mode. Hit Apply, and save custom configuration. Launch CoinOps once more. Select your game, and there you have it, we have started up in full screen mode. To exit full screen mode, either double click the window or hit the escape key. If you don't intend on having a mouse and keyboard nearby, you can map a button on your controller to work as the escape key. And that's everything, you can now repeat the process for all your other PlayStation 3 titles. Thank you for watching the video, and happy gaming.